Hi, welcome to the Stringers World Racket Review of the new Biomimetic 400 Tour. It's all the latest range from Dunlop. Um, it comes in with a 100 square inch head, an unstrung weight of 310 grams, a standard length of 27 inches, and a string pattern of 16 by 19. Now, this is um, all inspired by nature along with the, ho the whole Biomimetic range. Um, it has aero skin along, along the outside, which cuts through the air, and anti friction. Um, bumper guard, that, bumper guard to really help that extra bit through there. Um, it also comes with a new side grommet, which is different for stringing. So if you are to try these rackets and you want to restring them, make sure you check at the bottom for an S and an L. There's one short side, one long side for the stringing pattern. Um, otherwise, you may get slightly confused. Now, Dan's going to tell you a little bit more about the new um, technology they've put into the handle. Okay, well, as you can see, we're holding uh, the 400 and the 400 Tor. Uh, basically, it's to show that. It's got the anatomic construction in both of them. And again, this is inspired by nature. It uh, adds a little bit of extra strength to the core here. And uh, it's combined with the HM6 carbon material, which adds stiffness at the correct points of the racket, and which really determines how the racket flexes. Now, they're both quite stiff rackets, and uh, they actually, surprisingly, play like quite stiff rackets. Um, I really enjoyed both of them. The 300, the 400 Tor, sorry, is a little bit heavier. It was a little bit less manoeuvrable, and it will really be a personal preference to you. They both hit loads of spin from the back of the court. You can also flatten them out. I said in the other review they're very versatile, and I'll stick by that. Um, you do really get out what you put in. The serving with the Tor I actually prefer because it's got that a little bit extra weight, and you can put a little bit more kick and a little bit more pace on your serves without actually putting as much effort in. But as far as maneuverability from the back of the court, I thought the 400 won out. Now, when I approach the net, I always struggle a little bit. My footwork's not the best, and my hands aren't the best. And uh, this racket really helped me out. It's got this really nice big open sweet spot. It's more of an oval head shape, so you know I don't have to be quite as precise with where I'm striking the ball. And the feel on the racket's great, so I could really find, I could drop the ball short, or I could punch it deep without too much hassle. And uh, it just basically really helped me out in my volume game. Um, Ben's a lot better at that, so he's gonna give you some good information on it. Well, I prefer a heavier racket when I'm volleying. I want to feel a bit more crisp on it and really punch through the ball. And that's why I prefer this one. As a bit more of an all-round player, trying to, move, trying to move forward slightly more often, I'm really looking forward to get the extra bit of pop and the extra control in a volley where I can really get the most out of it and really do the most damage with it. Now, if you are an attacking player and you're looking to move forward, this may be a choice for you. Whereas if you're looking at a slightly more counter-punch baseline player, you might want a slightly lighter one, but you can stand out there for hours and hours, grind new people off the court, maybe for you know, two, three sets. Um, now with both of them I recommend, like I said with the other one, I recommend them for a, vast variety, a big variety of, of, of people. Ah. Obviously the heavier one is slightly different, more difficult to play with because it, as, it, as heavier you need to be slightly stronger and have much more stamina. However, at only 310 grams you can drop the age group down to sort of 14 year olds, moving up all the way up to our sort of standard, even adding weight to it um, for a tall player. Um, as you can tell from both of us, we both really enjoy playing with these rackets. Um, thanks for watching and follow us on Twitter.